ninjas, things like that. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends, because it's also like a really good spacing tool, you know, because anyway, it just keeps keeps them out. Both of them have disjoints, so I'd assume neither are super duper fun for Incineroar. Mm -hmm. PS2. Among Us. Among Us. Let's go. Oh, they switched. That was really cool. They went. Boop. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I didn't see the stage. Was it PS2? Uh, yes, it was. Okay, starting out with the DDD. Mm -hmm. DDD Joker. This Why? cannot Ooh. be good for DDD. Yeah. It's not. I, 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 <laughs> what does he do about gun? What does he do about anything? Mm -hmm. Immediately, uh, Whisper taking control of the stage. Yeah. Now, DDD oh. isn't horrible at ledge. Like, it, it's not great. Bad but at getting off it. That's true, but at least he has like those pokes for with the, the safe pokes with the hammer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good jump read. Mm -hmm. Yep. All that's right. The, that's the multi special. Oh, oh, he was. Our he was right. him out there too. Mm -hmm. Good thing to whisper. Yeah. Good so if I would imagine what, I, I would assume Joker just wants to keep DDD out just like with the projectiles and then once once they get in, just like completely <laughs> decimate yeah. DDD. And then Dude, DDD. His disadvantage is not great. No. So. Yeah, I would imagine uh, Multi just wants stage control to set up the ledge traps. Yeah. You know, just set up the, uh, <laughs> yeah, he'd, <laughs> he'd, be doing, he'd be doing work. Yeah. I feel like Joker actually doesn't have a ton to get off ledge. No, it doesn't have a great... I, they do like have a rising aerial from ledge. Forward air. Yeah, 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 which is always super nice. Mm -hmm. But other than that, no, like, weird tricks. Mm -hmm. Pretty even, all things considered, though. Nice up tilt getting Ooh. underneath DDD. Yeah. I feel oh, like it's really hard to hit DDD in those positions. Ooh, what? Rebels Guard killed her there. Gotcha. Rebels Guard hit the Gordo, and then DDD reacted and then got the off smash. Yeah. <laughs> Not out of the woods, though. Just yet. Oh, yeah. One back air. Mm -hmm. Should be it. Yeah. Worst case scenario, Whisper will have uh, Father to bail them. Oh, oh my no, nobody, gosh. Nobody in the world is Nobody texts that. that. Yeah. <laughs> MK Leo died at 20 if he got hit by that. Honestly. All right. Okay. Good combo there. Mm-hmm. 32%. Slowly, yep, and then just just resetting. You know, doesn't doesn't want to take any risks. A lot of super heavies have those like really scary reversal options, and so I understand just wanting to get out of there. Uh, I, I like the idea with the with the, the F smash. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, almost. There's there's invincibility on that. So right, right, you're right. Not catching that. Oh, All right. No jump. Yeah, that's that's a jumpless Joker. Oh, multi trying to capitalize on the jumpless Joker. Oh, Joker has a ledge dash. Yeah. With gun? Yeah, they do double jump gun and then whoop. That's interesting. All right, so this is looking pretty good gun. for Whisper. Um, all they really have to do is just just keep DDD out. Yeah. I really like DDD back there, especially <laughs> in the context of his kid. I feel like yeah. it can do some a lot of work. Oh, there it yeah. is. Yeah. Not DDD, much you can do there. DDD back air, though it might seem safe, is actually pretty Unsafe, really? Not because uh, it's like it's not as disjointed as you might think. Because DDD, when he hits the ground, he squishes out. Yeah, like, really? yeah. So if you're, if you're he's actually a place, lot closer uh, than you I'm than sure you might expect. Right but people people think, oh, I can't Thank punish you. it. It's a big disjoint, so they try not to. I did not know that. Yeah. That's an interesting little matchup. I guess that makes sense coming from the the Falco DDD <laughs> man himself. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Whisper still keeping it. Pretty, uh, pretty much in their favor. Honestly, it's oh, now with Arsene. I was about to say it's even. It's not Arsene. That's not even yeah. with Arsene. Ooh, just getting barely clipped. Oh, oh. missed the two frame. Mm -hmm. Big super armor. Okay, this is not great for multi. Whisper can close this out with just one Ooh. back air. Great tech. Nice. And catching the, Got the ledge jump. jump. Barely kills. That mm -hmm. was close. Mm -hmm. A lot of people when they get scared, they have those like default options, mm -hmm. and the most and the safest one in people's head is normally jump, just because yeah. it's like really fast. They're like, I immediately want to get to ledge, you know. It's normally that. Oh, or, like, yeah. All right. All right. I gotta go play rivals. All right. Win two games. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. People have those panic options uh, after in in scrambles off stage and, and multi just reading the panic option, you know, getting that getting that sweet sweet back air. So back to PS2. Honestly, not horrible for Whisper. The only thing, uh, I, uh, if I just see keeping out DDD a little bit more with the gun and the AHA, and I really think we could see uh, game three, just given uh, DDD's slow mobility. Not to say that Multi hasn't dealt with it before being a DDD main, but it is in the cards. So immediately getting into Whisper's advantage state, a quick 30. Joker without our son doesn't do a whole lot of damage um, in like those strings, but it's still really stressful given how mobile they are. All right, getting reversal, the FTL not being safe on shield, now getting juggled by DDD, getting back to the floor, and we're basically back to neutral. I feel like a lot of these projectiles that Whisper's throwing out are really close to DDD, and while they do allow for a lot of combo potential, they might not do the job of spacing out DDD, which I think is a bigger problem. 
but it's even, so I really can't be saying much. Whisper Curl really knows what she's doing. All right, DDD off stage. I don't know how many jumps are left. Not that many, but barely sneaking back on stage. Oh, a little bit of spaghetti there. Up smash for up smash, both of them missing. So right now, uh, if, I'm, if I'm Whisper, I'm getting that kill with Arsene, but the Nair back air cross up, still getting the kill. Uh, DDD do, like, having a fair bit of uh, combo potential off that Nair, just given that he doesn't have great air mobility horizontally, it can be hard to hit, but if you get that hit, it can combo into a lot, clearly into death. But DDD at 150. Whisper can get the kill, even without Arsene, but the thing about DDD is that he just lives forever. His recovery's pretty pretty all right, and he's just so heavy, and it can be really hard to hit him like with a, with a killing blow. But now Arsene is back. If there's ever a time to kill DDD, it's gonna be now. Uh, I can definitely see it happening with, yep, just the immediately just like toss through the shoulders, the little whoop, taking out the trash. So not too much of a deficit, especially with Arsene in the back pocket, but if you're getting ledge trapped by DDD, it might be hard to get that advantage state going. And there goes Arsene. Whisper's gonna have to, oh, and that's the, I believe that's the second or third time that Whisper's just been called out for that uh, Rebels guard. Just trying to get uh, multi to throw out an option, but he's just not close enough or doesn't take the bait and then gets that powerful down smash. So this is a full stock swing for, for Multi. Uh, really big for him. Uh, this could be over relatively quick, but Whisper definitely has the opportunity to get that kill because of uh, Arsene, you know? And also just like keeping DDD at ledge, all those types of things. J Joker can be aggressive. He does have the tools to do it. So it's not completely out of the picture for Whisper to take this to a game three. All right, DDD getting juggled, missing the up smash, and now DDD's got stage control, right? Multi just trying to take the stage control. Uh, oh, a little late with the down air, but the up air. Great tech from Whisper though, and just getting nervous off stage and up being into the into the little corner of PS2. I don't know if that's referred to as pineappling in this game, but um, regardless, uh, Whisper not going to be snapping the ledge, and Multi going to be taking the set 2-0. Good stuff to both players, though. There is clearly a lot of effort being put in on both sides, and both sides definitely uh, got some good gut plays in there.